Okay, welcome to my next video on Headspace in the 1919. I do things a little differently than a lot of people. Um, a lot of people just tell you to leave the parts in the gun and pull it back three quarters of an inch and tighten the barrel until it no longer uh, closes all the way, then back it off. I like to do the things uh, to set headspace outside of the gun. If you really study how headspace works in the 1919, um, you have a T-slot right here and the barrel will come to rest against that face of that T-slot and that's that's what sets headspace on the browning is this notch is this notch right in here it's already built into the bolt you just want to make sure that you have the barrel tightened in tight to the tracks on the face of the bolt and then backed out one or two clicks for heat expansion. That's all you need to, to do to set headspace. And that's exactly what happens inside the gun. Um, I always set up my gun before I go shoot, and I always double check it. It's very easy to do this with the guts outside of the gun. Um, so basically, I have, I've got this set up in 54R currently, so it's got the square Israeli barrel notches on there which by the way I think is a superior design over the uh, GI rounded notch you cannot lose head space with the square spring I have lost head space trying to use the round GI spring with the square barrel profile notches of the Israeli gun um, I'm not gonna harp on that uh, your decision if you got a full auto 1919 and you trust it have at it um, I personally don't recommend it. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen the spring to where it's past the barrel notches right here. Um, it's out of the way so you can freely spin the barrel and back the barrel out a little bit. The next thing you're going to do is take your completely assembled bolt and you're going to insert it into the tracks of the barrel extension and you'll notice that you have a breech lock cam right here that moves up and down and what that does is that cam moves up and it locks into these notches in the bolt so that lock that breech lock that breech lock right there um, goes inside of this notch and it prevents the bolt from opening uh, until the guns recoiled sufficiently and bled off all the energy so the first thing you're going to do is install the bolt all the way into the tracks and you're going to push up with your fingers on this breech lock cam and hold it tight. Now if you slowly screw the barrel in until it comes to rest, at that point, test it a few times, you don't want to force it just to the point where it stops test it three or four or five six times you'll know where it's where it's at at that point the face of that barrel is touching the face of the tracks and the t-slot of the bolt that is zero head space right there um, what you're going to do from this point a lot of people put a, a punch mark or white paint or whatever to signify that that's zero head space on that barrel and on that barrel assembly but it's only with this bolt if you change bolt that changes anyway long story short with the breech lock pushed up tight into the bolt locking the bolt into the barrel extension slowly rotate this in until it comes to rest and you'll feel it rest against the face of that bolt at that point that's your zero head space you're going to back it out one or two notches. I prefer one. Lock your spring into the barrel notches and assemble your gun and you're off to the races. Um, that's going to be a perfectly head spaced uh, bolt and barrel, barrel extension assembly um, with one click out for heat expansion. Some people like to go two clicks out I run 54R and I know I noticed that 
A lot of times the casels will split. I feel more comfortable with only one notch out for heat expansion. Start getting into two notches out and you'll start having case uh, head separations inside the barrel on my particular gun. So I always run it um, one, one click out from zero head space. That's what I set my gun at and it runs great. So let's do this again. I'll show you one more time. Pull the spring out. Slide the bolt in. Lock your breech lock. And you're going to slowly screw the barrel in until you feel it come to rest against the face of that bolt. That right there is zero head space. This notch right here. So I'm going to rotate it one notch counterclockwise if you're look at, looking at it from this direction and then just reinsert your spring. If you want to go two notches, rotate it one more notch counterclockwise then insert all the parts back into the gun and shoot it and you'll be good to go. Hope that helps um, and good luck.